This is circulated 1971 The Washington Quarter from Coinas Collection. Circulated and slightly damaged Denver Mint specimen. Overall strike of reliefs are sharp. Just mild wear or dye softness is evident on Washington's head, specifically the hair area. Numerous contact marks and circulation ticks show up across the surfaces of a verse, but the main distraction is the circular gouging, which is most likely the result of a damage done by a coin roll cramping machine. Reverse side of this coin is free from large distractions, just rim nicks, small scratches, hair lines, bag marks, almost whole package for briefly circulated quarter dollars. 1971 the Washington Quarter is very common as Mint produced over 250 million of them, according to Jaime Hernandez from PCGS. In MS67 they are scars with a few hundred probably in existence. In MS68 they are almost rare with just two examples certified by PCGS with none finer. The most valuable example was sold at heritage auctions. This spectacular MS68 specimen exhibits razor sharp definition on all design elements, and pristine, brilliant surfaces radiate vibrant mint luster on both sides. It fetched a sum of $4,560 in. Here I have overall four circulated quarters, two of them bearing mint mark P standing for Philadelphia mint, and two of them with mint mark D referring to Denver branch of U.S. Mint. These 1982p quarters are in very fine condition. They display numerous large contact marks though, but the main distraction is a deep gouge near the mouth of Sir George Washington. Overall eye appeal is not that bad for circulated quarters. No large blemishes or distracting tarnished stocks evident on either side of them. According to Jaime Hernandez from PCGS, in 1982 and 1983, the mint did not produce any mint sets. Therefore, it's much more difficult to find 1982-1983 P and D quarters in higher uncirculated grades. Even raw examples in MS64 command a significant premium of about $5 to $10 or so. In MS65 conditions, they are very tough. In MS66 condition, they are extremely scarce. In MS67, they are even more difficult to find and definitely worth setting aside. MS68s are almost unheard of, with just two specimens reported by PCGS. They are worth over $8,000, according to Price Guide. One of the most valuable specimens was sold at Heritage Auction. This condition reality boasts a radiant pearl grey surfaces, which are fully struck and effectively flawless, with occasional powder blue and tan accents. It ended up selling for $10,200. P. Washington Quarter in lower mint condition. A state quarter featuring Colorado State design on reverse. Also showing numerous tiny contact marks gracing the surfaces of device elements and the fields. It's radiant with nickel gray luster and displays needle sharp strike. One large nick catches the eye on the eastern rim near the bottom. Focal areas display numerous small marks and also one tiny irregular formation. It's seen near the chin, which is likely a die chip, but, but I can be wrong. If you haven't subscribed to our channel yet, make sure to hit subscribe and bell buttons below. Released on June 14, 2006, this is a 38th coin released in 50 state quarter program, the third coin released in 2006. Colorado admitted into the Union on August 1, 1876, seemed the coin colorful Colorado. The image highlights the rugged rocky mountains, evergreen trees and banner. Contact on this side is minimal and eye appeal is excellent. In terms of rarity, the 2006p Colorado Quarter is considered a relatively common coin, both in circulated and uncirculated conditions. The State Quarters program produced billions of quarters for each state, including the 2006p Colorado Quarter. Therefore, finding one in circulation or from coin dealer is generally not difficult. In circulated conditions, the 2006p Colorado Quarter holds its face value of 25 cents. According to PCGS, examples up to MS67 condition can be obtained with minimal efforts. However, anything grading above MS67 can be very challenging. For instance, this MS68 specimen with excellent eye appeal ended up selling for $228 at Heritage Auctions. Talk about 2001p Kentucky State Quarter. This is a circulated quarter dollar in extremely fine condition. Crisply struck, briefly circulated specimen, featuring mostly unworn reliefs and spot-free surfaces. 
If you haven't subscribed to our channel yet, make sure to hit subscribe and bell buttons below. Released on October 15, 2001, this is the 15th coin released in the 50 state quarter program and the 5th released in 2001. Kentucky admitted into Union on June the 1st, 1792. Seemed the coin, my old Kentucky home. It features a stately mansion, federal hill, and a thoroughbred racehorse position behind the fence in the foreground. The 2000p Kentucky quarter is not considered a rare or valuable coin. The state quarters program which ran from 1999 to 2008 produced millions of coins for circulation including the Kentucky quarter. While some specific error or variety coins can carry a higher value, the regular 2001p Kentucky quarter is typically worth its face value of 25 cents in circulated condition. In 2001, U.S. Mint struck 353 million Kentucky state quarters in Philadelphia. According to PCGS survival estimate, nearly 39 million of them are in MS65 or better condition. Therefore, uncirculated gems are in abundance as they won't command the premiums unless they are in highest grade available. Even in mean state 68, price range between $19 to $49. MS69 specimens are considered relatively rare. PCGS reported just 7 specimens in that condition with non-finer. According to current price guide, MS69 gems are worth over $3,000. One of the most valuable specimens was sold in 2017. This Kentucky Quarter is in Mint State 69, and it exhibits tax sharp strike and enchanting preservation level. This quarter ended up selling for $2,585. Back to coin as this is circulated 1988 Washington Quarter with meat mark P, P standing for Philadelphia Mint, which struck 562 million quarters that year. Question of the day from the viewer below will be answered after examination of this quarter. It's likely at about uncirculated AU50 condition, bearing small flam flow, this dashy color doubling. Strike is not that sharp as you can see, where a slight dye softness is evident on hair and ponytail of the president. Fields are almost clean from spotting and contact marks. Most noteworthy marks are these bag mark above the P and small much near the letter L. Coin exhibits average level of reflectivity. Age is read it. most of the reads kept well. When we turn it over, we see slight trace of dye deterioration. On the beak of the eagle, it's more bulgy, making it look like more of a vulture rather than eagle. At the same time, dye softness is visible on the feathers of the wings. Some elements of upper letterings, for instance letter A and, and E pluribus onum, softly struck as well. As I mentioned before, amount of quarters struck by Philadelphia Mint that year was massive. They only get elusive and valuable starting from mean state 66. At mean state 67, they sell for $400 to $800. Highest amount for P quarter was recorded in 2021 on eBay. This splendid quarter with champagne toning was sold for $750. When it comes to 1988D, this is one of the most expensive ones ever sold at auctions at mean state 68. A sharply struck immaculate and luster superb gem. Pastel butter gold toning denies full brilliance. A prize for competitive registry holding. Sold on January 5th, 2017 for $1,645 at Heritage Auctions. And this is one of the most expensive quarters from Washington series ever sold at auctions. A landmark lot of 1932D quarter dollar in MS66 condition. The 1932D is widely known as the scarcer of the two first-year keys, particularly in high grades. But this landmark coin ranks with just one other as the finest known. Its only rival is another MS66 specimen at PCGS. NGC census of MS66 is zero as of September 30, 2023. This piece exhibits delicate, largely flawless satin surfaces with original luster residing beneath a thin veil of pale pastel toning. Only a microscopic tick hidden in Washington's hair is at all worthy of mention, even if only for the sake of accuracy. The design elements are boldly rendered and the overall eye appeal is excellent. It was sold for $82,250. Thanks for watching this video. Please like, leave comment and subscribe to our channel. Your support is highly appreciated. See you in the next video. How's it going guys? This is 2000p Washington Quarter with Maryland Reverse, commemorative issue from US Mint's 50 State Quarter Series. 
Metal composition is copper nickel clad copper. As you can see this quarter dollar is at about uncirculated state featuring strong traces of nickel grade mint luster. Most vividly observed on surfaces of Washington bust. Strike is very sharp, just look at the wavy motifs on hair. Oversight displays very nice reflectivity. Most distracting are these two gouges on the president's cheek area. Edge is readed and very neatly preserved as clearly seen from the footage. Reverse design depicts the dome of Maryland State House, framed by two white oak leaf clusters accompanied with the state's name, date of its admission into the Union. Letterings and device elements are sharply struck. Very light rub is evident on central areas of the dome. Abbreviation in small lettering TDR are initials of engraver Thomas D. Rogers. Overall, this site has a satisfying eye appeal for a 22 year old coin, notwithstanding several ticks and gouges around the central device. How valuable you think these Maryland quarters can be? To answer the question, we must check out the guiding price list provided by PCGS. If coin is circulated, then it's worth just 25 cents, but the highest mint state certified, that's MS68, they are worth over $140 today. One of the most expensive Maryland quarters sold at auctions so far is this quarter at mint state 64, 2000 p quarter struck on a clad down planchet. The old line state is complete, as is virtually all of Maryland and Liberty. The mint mark is near the rim, but identifiable. State quarters struck on dimes are rarely encountered due to improved riddlers. Sold on September 28, 2007 for $6,325 at heritage auctions. Here is another error quarter, 2000 p Maryland quarter struck on a nickel planche. A lustrous and essentially brilliant gem with bold strike aside from expected spreading of peripheral legends. Washington's bus truncation has a pair of bold mint made die cracks. Sold on January 15, 2005 for $1,495 at Heritage Auctions. In 63D Washington quarter in MS68 condition. According to Stax Bowers, this exquisite ultra gem is ringed in halos of intense burnt orange reddish bronze and antique gold peripheral toning. Off-center areas of brilliance are also noted, the pattern of toning strongly suggestive of years spent in a cardboard holder. Fully struck with pristine mint frost. Although the Denver mint struck a large total of 135,288,184 quarters in 1963, precious few have been preserved with enough care to secure even a superb gem MS67 rating from PCGS. This MS-68 pinnacle was bargained for $24,000. Beautifully toned 1962 quarter dollar. Graded in Mint State 67 Plus by PCGS and housed in a gold shield PCGS holder. Certified 1962 Washington quarters in superb gem condition are scarce and highly sought after among registry set collectors. This plus graded piece is tied with seven others as the finest at PCGS. The strike is sharp and there are no bothersome abrasions. It ended up selling for $26,400. Thanks for joining us today. Until next time, happy coin hunting, and may the rarest coins be in your collection. Don't forget to smash thumbs up. Stay well.